Hello guys! In this video I'll show you how to create character attributes and provide communication between them and our consumables. As you can see, right now we have the health bar and stamina bar. Let's take some food, some water and a pack of cigarettes. Now, if I try to eat something, you can see that my health is replenishing. Also, the same but for our stamina. And, actually I have only one visual feedback for the usage of consumables. is for the cigarette pack and it's the death state. So if I try to smoke, you can see that I fall to death. So, the implementation is very simple. Let's get started. Let's start with the creation of the player character interface. VPI underscore player character. As you can see, I have some functions. Create attributes widget. It's for our health and stamina bar. Destroy attributes widget so we can clear it when our character is actually not alive. Then get health. Make sure to check output. I have two variables health and percent. Health is for The number of how much health we have and percent, it's actually the ratio for filling up the progress bar in our heart. The same for stamina and two more left, it's add health, the input was health and add stamina. The same but for stamina. Now let's continue. So first of all, let's open our player character, then go to class settings and implement the player character interface. When you do this, on your left you can see that we have get stamina and get health functions. Let's open it. Now, make sure to create the following variables current health, current stamina, max health, max stamina, delta health, and delta stamina. As you can see, current health has option expose on spawn, the same for current stamina. That's because I'd like to change the actual starting health in each level for several lots. If I open the player start class that we have created earlier, you can see that in spawn actor BP player character. Right now I have current health and current stamina attributes. So when I start or launch my game, here I can define with which values I actually go. In some cases, for some plots, there is the way to go. So Let's go back to our player character and make sure that max health and max stamina default values are set to 100. Current health and current stamina can be 0, depends whether you go with the setup with player starts or not. And in player start current health and current stamina are 100 also. But, 
S4 where I start located in our level, you can see that health and stamina right now is 5 and 75. So if I launch the game, you can see. Let's wait a moment. That actually my health and stamina bar aren't fully they aren't fully filled. So back to player character and first get health function. It's the interface getter function and we need to apply the following operation. Current health divides by max health, so we can have the ratio of percent to actually fill the progress bar of our health and stamina bar, and just our current health. You can notice that we have these bubbles, it's because our variable has rep notify replication we need this for triggering whether our health has changed so we can apply the death state but that's for the next tutorial now let's go to get stamina interface function and that's the same behavior so current health divides by max stamina goes for the percentage and our current stamina for the stamina. Now, on the event graph, we need to implement add health and add stamina functions. So, after you have implemented the play character interface, now you can you are able to add event at health and event at stamina to our graph. So just search for them. Like this. And let's see the logic. We need to calculate the health we are actually adding through our consumables with our current health and set it to delta health. Then we need to check whether delta health is equal or higher than our max health. If it's so, we just need to set the max health that's our to our current health. If it's not, our current health should be our delta health. The same logic, but for stamina. So. That's all. Now, let's go to our HUD. So, I have created the widget blueprint. It's HUD player attributes. And it's just the vertical box that consists of two progress bars, health bar and stamina bar. Well, I can show you the layout I created. And the actual visual look, it's up to you to decide with which to go along. Actual percent rate here is just for debug purposes during gameplay the values we actually set here won't have any effect also make sure that grid is our vertical box health bar and stamina bar it's our progress bar are set as variables so we can change them during the gameplay. Now, let's go to graph. And, as you can see, here I have two functions. The one is update health bar, the second one is update stamina bar. 
The logic for both of them actually is similar. So, for the health bar, I actually send the interface message to get my health. Get player character and get health function that we have implemented earlier. And actually it's this one. So we are calling for this function. And for health bar I use set percent node and our ratio is provided to set percent in percent field so it is filling the correct way the same for update stamina bar we send the message through our interface to play character to get stamina then set it to our stamina bar and we check these conditions because it depends on the situation but it can change very fast here I use event tick just to update my progress bars and that's all for the HUD now let's go to our player controller so when we open player controller first of all we need to go to class settings and also implement player character interface after this we have two events create attribute widget and event destroy attribute widget actually the flow is the same as for all other widgets we have created earlier we just create it then set as the local variable and add to viewport and when we need to clear it we check whether it's valid so if it's so we remove it from parent and set the null reference just like this also the reason why we need to implement the player character interface is so when we actually spawn our player character here on the event begin play we can call or send a message to our player controller to create attributes widget here also when we destroy our character we need to clear our heart so we actually send a message to destroy attributes widget now let's open our consumables and make some changes to see how our attributes actually work and we have food consumable water consumable and cigarette consumable let's start with food consumable and you can see that right after event consume i send the message through the interface to our player character and call add health function this one well actually the behavior is pretty much simple it's the instant add parameter but for my purpose it's enough you can actually go with timeline to have overtime effect and actually if there will be the request I'll create the tutorial about effects over time but nevertheless let's go back to our food consumable and continue as you can see I have the float variable with the amount of 15 so when I use my food consumable my health will replenish on this value and that's the same for each food pack. For water consumable I have the same logic but it's add stamina so when I drink some water I'll replenish my stamina. As for cigarettes I have both messages but 
you can see that I have two different variables and they values are actually negative. So when I start smoking, my attributes will be decreasing. So that's all for this tutorial. Leave your feedback and if you like what I do, please subscribe. See you soon!